I'm definitely eating shit on this stage. Oh yeah, I was just saying to Michelle, like, I hope you're ready for when I fall over this. Oh yeah, yep, I'm fucking eating it. Holy shit. Those lights are hot. It's fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a scorcher tonight. Um, it's pretty disgusting. It's covered in dried sweat right now. And the strings are pretty dead. I change them like every two, it depends on the guitar. This one about every two to three. That one I only do two songs a set on it, so I kind of go longer on that one. But this one about every two to three shows. Depends on how hot it was or how much you sweat. But it's been about three shows on this one, so. It's gonna be back in Paris though. I haven't been here in 20 years probably. I think the last time I was here was like 2002 maybe? I have a picture of me at Jim Morrison's grave when I was like 22 years old. That'll be great when this video comes out and all the comments are from bass players telling me how I'm doing this wrong. I've been doing everything wrong for like 25 years, so at this point, I whatever, who cares? <laughs> I'm just gonna make noise and hopefully people like it. This bass belonged to Caleb. Schofield, who was the original bassist of Cave In and my friend, who passed away, and his wife was kind enough to pass it on to me so I could keep using it and it could stay in Cave In. So it's, uh, it's a nice, nice thing to bring along with us on the road. I feel like it sort of keeps his keeps his spirit here with us. Hearing this, the bass lines that Nate plays, that Caleb wrote, um, it, uh, all of that reminds us of him, you know. Um, being in different parts of Europe too, because um, our first memories of touring over here, traveling to a lot of these places were with Caleb. So, um, yeah, there's a, for everywhere we go that we've been to before, there's always some memory or story that kind of floats to the surface. I found it. What you got? Jim Morrison's grave, 20 years ago. <laughs> nice. That's the last time I was in Paris. Yeah, look at all the fucking junk and cigarette butts and beer cans and I think the guitar picks. Yep. Let's have a contest. Nate, you, we'll sell Nate's bass strings and we'll sell my guitar strings. We'll see who gets the most money. I mean, if we're talking about usefulness, mm -hmm. I think my used bass strings are probably worth more money. It's true. Because you can get more use out of them. Mm -hmm. But I got six strings to sell and you only have That's four. That's true. I mean, so you're if you're looking for quantity over quality, you, are more talented you come to the right place. That's debatable. Yeah, but I wrote Jane Doe. <laughs> He reminds us of that like five times a day. I did right, Jane. Oh yeah, the snare, the snare drum alone, without even a microphone on it, yeah. over the limit. Yeah. Uh, can your drummer play quieter? Yeah. I forgot about the dB limits in Paris. I don't know if it's French, a France thing in general, but um, this is the lowest stage volume that we've had so far in this tour. So that's, uh, that's a little interesting. My, my guitar kind of sounds like a mosquito buzzing behind my ear right now. But, you know, we'll make it through. That's tough. Yeah, that can be difficult when playing this kind of music. Yeah. Um, because, you know, th just the snare drum or the cymbals on their own will hit 100 dB. Yeah, that, so. that's the problem. And then you have the rest of the band trying to keep up with the volume of the drums. And it's like, you know, if you're in some bands, you can play lightly, and, but with this style of music, it doesn't really happen that way. Uh, and it's tough to reduce the volume, you know? Yeah. So it, it can be tough. Shit! Shit! I think that's good. Yeah. 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 
you eating gummies again before the set? This fucking guy and his gummies. Oh, shit. Everything I do is wrong. Someone else could be eating the same gummy and they'd be like, oh, you're cool. But it's me, I got a problem. That's a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. J.R. Connors in a nutshell. Yeah. All right, Glory, here we go. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Morrison is buried in your beautiful city. This is for him. <laughs>